This morning we're talking with Ashley Judd and two New York Times reporters, Jody Cantor and Megan Tui, about their new book. It's called She Said. It reveals how they expose the allegations against Harvey Weinstein and includes many stories we haven't heard, including that of Rowena Chu, who worked for Weinstein. In 1998, while overseas with him in Venice, Italy, she says that he attempted to sexually assault her. Rowena joins us now, along with Jody, Megan, uh, Megan and Ashley Judd, who stuck around as well. Here's the thing, as I understand it, Rowena, you, you signed a fairly ironclad non-disclosure agreement, and you've decided to break that NDA this morning. Um, why? It's been a long journey. Um, the NDA uh, asked us to keep a secret about something that happened to me while I was working for 20 years, um, and that in itself was a, a very difficult thing to do over 20 years. So when I was approached in October 2017 to break the NDA, for me it was a really terrifying moment. Um, we had for a long time, I had for a long time, uh, not spoken to even my other colleague who signed the NDA with me, not to my husband, not mm. to my parents, and not to my sister. So when this story broke in the press about two years ago, I wasn't ready. Um, my children were still very young. My youngest child was six months. Um, I felt that I felt intimidated. I felt terrified. I didn't know what the repercussions would be, both legally and personally. And so it really has taken all of two years to square some of those things away, um, both in terms of my own personal life, in terms of coming forward and speaking to my parents, speaking to my husband, speaking to my closest friends. Just to give people at home some perspective, your job was to stay at the hotel, read scripts, and then discuss them with Weinstein. And the night in question, you say you started asking questions about your personal life uh, and then your professional life, and then it built up over a number of hours. And then ultimately, you say eventually he asked you to sit on the bed and give him a massage. Then what happened? Right. And it's very uh, typical of working with Harvey that generally personal questions and requests for massage and so on are blended in with conversations about scripts um, and, you know, appropriate workplace questions. So this wasn't uh, something that happened that took place over this one night, but it took place over a number of evenings while I was in the hotel uh, working with him. Uh, and um, these uh, kind of requests escalate. Uh, I, Harvey is very persistent. Um, he has a tendency to cajole. And frankly, uh, on this particular evening, he's a very big guy. He pushed me back against the bed. Um, and I was petrified and terrified as he tried to rape me. Uh, we let Harvey Weinstein know that, that you were going to be on the show this morning. His attorney um, pointed out that you worked for Harvey Weinstein two years after that encounter. Um, why? So after the signing of the NDA, uh, one of the clauses in the NDA was that our work would be protected. Um, you have to remember at the time we were pretty young. It was my first job or so out of college and I was 24 years old. And I, my passion all my life was to work in the film industry. So I didn't want to see that come to an end. Um, I signed the NDA and I hoped that I could move on. And I interviewed with many film and television companies across London, which is where I was based at the time. And everybody wanted to pull in a former assistant of Harvey Weinstein's for interview. Nobody wanted to give that person a job. Mm. So they'll all want to see, they all want to meet you, they want to hear your story. Maybe they'll find some salacious details, but nobody's going to give you a job when you've stopped working for Harvey Weinstein under unexplained circumstances. Ashley, I want to let you in here. I see you guys grabbing each other's hand. It's, it's so special. You understand what she has been through. Is there anything you want to let her know, especially because this is new for her? This is the first time that she's really talking about it publicly like this. The pattern, I understand the persistence, the cajoling, the weaving in, the incredibly confusing mixture of work and sexual grooming and predation. This is exactly what these two cracked. You know, you absolutely cracked the nut on this very skillful, pathological, sexual, criminal predation. And we experienced it viscerally, the cellular level of our bodies. It's also incredibly confusing, and it sets us into fight, flight, or freeze. And you two handled it with the journalism that won you the Pulitzer Prize and is now getting the book called An Instant Classic. And, you know, together we're going to send this guy to jail. How are Excuse you today? Me. Prison. <laughs> How are you today? Pretty nervous. <laughs> Pretty nervous, yeah. Well, you did great. 
and you've done a lot of good. Thank you. So, as have the two thank of you. you. Thank All you. All of you. So thank, you. Today, thank you. Thank you. Ashley, thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Open invitation to come back anytime. By the way, the book is called She Said. You can find out more about it on thirdhourtoday.com.